Now, I also talked to her after, right? <laughs> Before she left the Cudsack, right? See, if she knocked on the door, idiot, I would answer the door. You know? The thing is, I was in the bathroom getting ready and had a shirt on only, you know. I told you that too, you know, already, you know. You can't deny I would have sex when I know I would have sex with her, right? See, that's your problem. And the reason she did it is she thought she could get Comcast on it, right? If she had sex with me, right, right, what she was trying to do was prove it to them they shouldn't have sent her out as a female technician, idiot. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that a male customer, if he's single, could have sex with her, right? But she consented to the sex because I asked her to, right, mm -hmm. to do it with me, right, idiot. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> and I'm going to ask her if she's single or not, too, before I mingle, right? <laughs> if she told me she had a husband or a boyfriend, I would got just not do that, right? But then she's trying to prove it to her husband, too, that she can fuck someone on the job, right? Stupid. <laughs> right. <laughs> so when she knocked on the door, I would go and answer the door, which is what she said. Right. She did. I know. And she can't just sit out there and be not here either, right? For 20 minutes. <laughs> I would be looking for her. Now, the only other way that could happen is I heard her outside and went out there and divide her in. Right. I know. But she said she knocked on the door. I talked to her after. See, I told her if she did try to bite me out, I would be healed immediately and go through what happened, right? And I was, I knew her. <laughs> See, that's the part she don't understand, how I was healed so quickly after she hit me over the head, right? And, uh, and all she would have to do is pick up the stick I got usually in the doorway, right? I know. If I had to get cleaned up or something, right? After we had sex, right? I well, see that's your problem, right? You can be mad about with it all you like, but I would have sex with her if she let me do it now, right? And if I lost the time, she let me do it, right? Too, too. Or I wouldn't have lost the time, right? <laughs> And the sink's right there in the doorway. <laughs> All she would have to do is pick it up and hit me over the head and then get dressed or as she was getting dressed, right? Because see, then what I would be doing was be giving her time to get dressed, right? And, uh, and see, when she knocked me out, I came too, right? <laughs> too, too, right? It gave her enough time to do all that, right? <laughs> I probably, if I remember correctly, was, you know, turning my back to her so she could get dressed, right? Mm -hmm. And then she hit me over the head. I probably fell backwards, and then I popped back up, right? By then, she had done left the house, right? Now, it took me about two minutes, maybe, to come fully to me, and right? Enough time for her to get dressed and get out and out, right? But by that time, I had done, met her, let her in, right? We're talking 20 minutes, right? Right. I was aware she was coming at 10. And then, right? Now, yesterday, I had a male technician, and he was in and out like the wind, and there was no complications. And I just sat here while he fixed the TV, right? He did his job, but she didn't, you know. She had something to prove to Comcast, too, that she could have sex with a single person if they were single, right? You know, right? And she ran into a male. You know. See, that's what happened. That's what happened. You know. That's why she let it happen, idiot. You know. She had a reason. You know. So did the girl at the salon, but she ain't telling you why. You know. I know why. I know. Either to protect her dad, because she's not going to be working at 15, right? And blackmail me, all right? 
But either he knocked me out or she knocked me out to try and cause me the amnesia, right? Because <laughs> you changed your mind, right? <laughs> but it was too late because we had the sex over an hour, right? And that's not including uh, the actual time I got out till the time I got to the um, movie theater. And then I had to walk do something for another 45 minutes before the movie started, right? Because Snow Dog started at 4.45, right? And, uh, I remember the time it started, right? <laughs> I still got in before the matinee price went up, too, which goes up at 5, right? And, uh, see, I remember all the details, but us, or why I lost the hour, right? And, uh, I remember everything else, too, you know? All she caused me was temporary amnesia, right? Then, uh, and I told her not to do it. If she, she doesn't, I'll still know something happened, right? Because uh, I told her she could probably try to black me out, but if she tried to do it, uh, I would notice by the loss of time anyway, you know. Well, she also tried to black me out, I know. <laughs> to see if it was true, I guess, right? But it was true. It was true. I know I lost the hour, right? Because you were going to see a movie. Because I was going to see the movie. <laughs> and she made Jesus tell me like the Wolverine again. <laughs> Three times in a row, right? Mm -hmm. And like I said, the time don't have to be perfectly uh, right or wrong. With it, as long as it's by four, I'm out in the salon, right? Now, the problem with it being four, like I said, right, is that's where the hour or more came in at, right? Of going into the bathroom and then her and her not going to be out again and then going back to the nail job, right? Her, uh, right, right. <laughs> and then when I came to, there's no going back, right? <laughs> Again, right? She's got to keep doing the nail job, right? <laughs> like I didn't know it, sir, right? When I did, when you did. I'm not mad about it. I'm not going to forget who I am, I told her, right? I'm not going to forget why I came in here, which is to get my nails done, right? <laughs> I know you at least going to do that, right? And when we went in the bathroom, I know what I would do there because of the compactness of the space, we probably did it front and then behind, right? And then at least twice the first two times, right? And then the third time, we just either did it straight to front or straight to back. I don't remember that part, but last time was the third time, right? Mm hmm I know. <laughs> and it's kind of blackmailish, too, right? That's why she don't have to admit it, right? And I'm not making her. Mm -hmm. But see, if she did me wrong, she could have gotten pregnant, right? And had the baby already. And like I said, I don't care. Whatever you want to do, honey. <laughs> you the one taking it for granted, right? Like Maribel did. Like Maribel did. Talk about Maribel too, right? <laughs> I don't know that. And see, so you don't get it. You're pretending I wouldn't have sex with them both, yeah. But only because she told me a lie about her age, right, too, too. So once she started lying and I started believing her lie, right, it was too late for me to back out of it, right? And too late for her to pretend that I wouldn't be able to sleep with a 37-year-old either, right? Like, I can't do that either, either, right? You can sleep with a woman of any age, really. Any man can, if she wants to, right? I've been with 17 women already, right? They would just be 18 to 19. <laughs> and if she's 50, she was probably a virgin, which is what she's hiding, right? Maybe the other girl was too, right? See, for it to be a real issue, she also was probably a virgin, right? Mm hmm <laughs> So I had two virgins without knowing I had two virgins, but I know I had two virgins, right? 
because of the loss of time, right? I mean, there. And I did you 10 minutes front and 10 minutes for behind, right? You said that? Yes, I know. I know. And I know how I kissed you from the butt to the top. I know. And massaged you. I know. Both sides. I know how I would kiss you from the front, which would start with your mouth and then go up to your ears and then go down your neck to your boobs, right? Take off your clothes, right? In the bathroom, in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they'd eat you out, and then buzz a tongue in your pussy, and then start having sex with you, right? <laughs> From the front first, right? And then go behind, and then go behind, right? And then I'd start from the bottom there, and then go up, right? <laughs> And massage you, right, as I'm going up your spine by kissing your spine, right? Mm -hmm. Up to the top of your neck, right, or the top of your head, right? Then I would start blowing in your air up there, and then I would do the other things with your boobs and grab you from behind. Your boobs from behind and start playing with your boobs from behind, right? And then start having sex with you from behind, right? You should be wet by them both ways, both ways. <laughs> And if you did believe, we would just throw the, use the napkins in the damn bathroom to clean up. I know. It wouldn't be that bad. Right? So don't tell me I don't remember, remember, right? <laughs> and the second time you didn't bleed, <clears throat> nor the third, nor the third, you know, only the first. So. <sighs> Now, like I said, if I needed to get cleaned up with the other girl, too, that's fine, too, right? But I had two virgins, right? 